Let's suppose that the, for a moment, let's suppose that the electric company were to follow the practice of never turning off anybody's electricity. Let's just for a moment take that other extreme. Then this wouldn't have happened. Who would pay the cost? Are those would the you, only would two be, alternatives? Well, for a moment, we can come to other alternatives, but I just want to show you the logic of the case. Because You're I want to show it to you. Absurdity. No, no, it's not an absurdity, because I want to show you that what you have to ask about are the costs imposed on different individuals. The electric company is meaningless. The electric company is a non human institution. The electric company, that what you must talk about, are either the stockholders of the electric company, the employees of the electric company, or the customers of the electric company. Those are the people involved. Now, if you go to the other extreme and adopt a policy that the electric company will always, will never turn anything off, then you effectively institute a system under which the only people who will pay for electricity will be those who pay for it voluntarily. Now, the number Mr. of people Friedman, who will do that... are those the only two alternatives? No, but I'm just showing you... I want to go, you've gone to one extreme, I'm going to the other extreme and show you that where the responsibility really lies for the kind of thing you're describing. The responsibility really lies not on the electric company for turning it off, but on those of this man's neighbors and friends and associates who are not charitable enough to enable him as an individual to meet the electric bill. You're, you're, blaming, you're blaming the wrong person for what happened.